Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the custom CSS codes that you can use to change the look of the drop down folder in your main navigation on your Squarespace website. Now, before we hop into anything code related, I have something super important I need to make sure you understand. This tutorial is for the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1. If you're using an older site, like a site built on a Brian theme template in Squarespace 7, I have a completely different tutorial for you because the codes you need are completely different codes. Check out the links in the description below if you're using an older version. But if you're on the latest version of Squarespace 7.1, you're in the right place. There are two simple code names that we're going to use today to change the look of the folder as well as the links within the folder. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and I'll show you how they work. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I have a folder on the top right hand side with three pages inside of it. Now that folder itself goes by the name header nav folder content. We're going to use that to change background colors, the layout, add some borders, all kinds of stuff. After that, we also have the letter A, header nav folder content A. That changes anything about the links inside that folder. That A stands for active links. So we're going to use that to change the text colors and the spacing and the way the letters look. So knowing we have those two different code names, let's hop into custom CSS and make some adjustments. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now I'm just going to copy and paste the name right out of my site here, header nav folder content, and I'm going to open up a curly bracket. Let's start with the background, shall we? I'll say background yellow and check it out. Nothing's happened. That's because the browser considers Squarespace's site styles file way more important than my custom code over here. I need to make sure the browser knows my code is important by adding an exclamation point and the word important. Now check it out. That folder is a bright yellow. Now let's say uh, we actually wanna change that to a gradient, for example. I have a linear gradient uh, listed in the codes in the description below. I'm just gonna paste it right here and add my exclamation point important. And now we've got a cool gradient that fades from the pink to the blue. We can get a little creative with that one. Pretty awesome, right? Let's go ahead and give it a border to help us stand out a little bit more as well. I'll add a semicolon and I'll say border. Um, let's go with 2px solid gray. There we go. Now we have a little gray border going around it to help it stand out a little bit more. Let's say we want to change the alignment of those links. Right now they're all the way to the right. I can adjust that with some code as well. I'm going to add a semicolon and I'm going to say text align. Let's go with left exclamation point important. And now that text scoots all the way to the left. We can also change that instead of saying left, we can say center. And now it'll be perfectly centered. Pretty awesome, right? Let's do one more fun one. Let's give it a box shadow. I'm going to add a semicolon and I'm going to say box shadow, uh, two pixels offset vertically and horizontally. I mean, uh, five pixels offset vertically. Let's give it a spread of 20 and I'm just going to use an RGBA code. That's a little transparent. Again, don't worry too much about writing all of that stuff down. I do have that code listed in the description below. So if you're familiar with box shadow codes, you want to create a clever one on your own, definitely type it in there associated with header nav folder content. Otherwise, feel free to copy the one in the description. All right. Awesome. Now, one last thing I want to mention, I talked about using the letter A to change the spacing between those active links or anything about the font in those active links. I'm going to go ahead and copy that for my page right here and I'll show you how that works. We're going to enter a new line. And I've got header nav folder content A. And now I'm going to open a curly bracket and I'm going to say border bottom 1px solid and we'll just make it a solid gray. There we go. Now we have a border at the bottom of those active links. You know what? I do not like the look of that, but I think they're a little too close together. Let's add some padding. I'm going to say padding bottom 10px. Let's take a look at that. How about exclamation point important? There we go. Now they've scooted out a little bit more. So if your links are a little too close together, use header nav folder content A. Got to add that letter A. And then you can add a little bit of padding there, change that up a bit. We can also transform the text. If we want it to be uppercase, I'll say text transform uppercase. And now they're all capital letters. I can even do some letter spacing here if I want to. Let's say 0.2 REM. We'll get the letters space out a little bit, add a neat little flair to that text there. 
All right, so again, we went through quite a few different changes that you can make to the drop down navigation using custom CSS. So I want to encourage you to get really creative with this one. Have some fun with those shadows, play around with your font styles and padding adjustments. Definitely explore these codes to make sure that you can create something that matches the style of your own Squarespace website. All the codes are listed in the description below. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.